We have a lot of fun coming up for you guys as well on the website, so stay tuned for more. And I hope you guys um, adapt to the changes that are coming up here on All Ages a Geek and also adapt to the changes that are coming up in the reaction communities overall. But thank you guys for listening and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye guys! Wait, no, I'm not saying bye. It's the video time, so you'll see me in a minute after the intro. Okay. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to All Ages Geek's Patreon page. Welcome back to All Ages Geek Academy. Where you guys get to take notes and also watch some reactions and get some lectures. That is anime, character development, setting, plot, all that juicy stuff when it comes to story. Yes, okay guys, so we're continuing Dragon Ball. As you know, I'm obsessed with this series. I mean, I feel as if, I mean, it's so hard for me to pick a favorite character, but obviously so far uh, it's Bulma, Goku, and Yamcha. Um, I can't like level them like who my favorite is, but like even though Bulma is so aggravating, I still do. There's just a special place in my heart that I'm like, I would be your friend. Um, same thing with uh, Goku. I'd be like, you're my little brother, you know? So like, I feel like all of them, I mean, have grown so much like in just a few episodes. Like we're on fucking episode eight. And it feels like I have been watching this like for a hundred episodes. This is how great the series is because in every episode, there's so much, like there's just chef's kiss much. Like there's so much to the series that it like not even just immerses you in the world, but it makes you question certain things. It makes you realize that the tropes came from here. So taking notes on this is a must because if you go back to other shonen series, you're like, I know that that was from Dragon Ball. That was also from Dragon Ball too. Like, what the hell? That's from Dragon Ball. It's just like, um, I remember when we watched Lord of the Rings, like the first one, I was like, oh my God. I remember when Harry Potter did that. Like Harry Potter did that. To, like you see the similarities of what is like the king and like the God tier like level of like, whether that's fantasy or fiction, like something with fiction or like anime itself. You're, like you see what sets those standards and sets the bars. And then you see the other things that have been developed over that, like over the time because you see what they've been inspired by. So I'm so happy that we are starting here from the beginning because I feel like I would not have an overall appreciation for Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Z, or like all the other series that are out. Um, I would not have a great appreciation for the series if I did not start from the beginning. So I'm so happy that we are starting from the beginning. But anyway, my friends, let's get started. Get your notes pads out and let's get reacting class. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. So no, she's so pretty. Oh. Huh. Oh. He's reminiscing. Oh. Is he good? What do I want? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, dangerous fan he's using it as a placemat. <gasps> Here comes the tears. <laughs> Really? You could do that? This is what's wrong. I... I love, he's literally a meme and I love him. 
Oh no. Mm. Yeah, I'm just, just Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's just a walk. Like, that's what I just said. <laughs> just go, just go home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see this. Let's fucking see this. Come on. Come on, boy. What the hell? What? What? Roshi, big, big boy. Oh my God. What is it called? Mayo Wave? Oh my god. How? Oh god, oh god, oh god, he's everything. Yes! It's just like the funny, the funny people equal sometimes serious. It's gone. Oh my god, dude! I go oh I love him! He's such a meme! Oh god. Oh true. Oh no. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Oh. Okay, I think of the reason also why I'm going to raise something that That monkey boy. How did they not see them? No. <laughs> See his potential. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god Her 
voice is so cute. Oh my gosh! She's so cute! Oh my gosh! <laughs> They have all different types of transportation. Are you fucking si Is it over? How? Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it feels like, even though it was made in, like, the 80s, it feels like it was made to be relevant for this day because again of all the anime tropes that are still going on to this day i mean even just like with the freaking nosebleed that was freaking hilarious <laughs> it's like oh my god just a sexy master oshi <laughs> oh this is good but i have some notes i want to talk about because i just uh, honestly i'm telling you um when it comes to the series like i just said it, it feels very relevant to this day um, not even just because of the tropes, but because you could still watch the series and be like, wow, like this story is fantastic. Um, the thing is too, is that now that they have another Dragon Ball, what again, like I keep saying in every single episode, what's concerning is that they're gonna get to the last one. Somebody's gonna steal it. I mean, they're heading towards the Emperor. So, I mean, I feel like during that time they're gonna get stolen. Um, we also have to worry about Yamcha, but I'm not so worried about Yamcha um, as much as I should be. I feel like they're gonna end up becoming friends. Um, I just have that feeling. Um, but I don't know when it comes to this Dragon Ball thing. Like, I don't know who's gonna get the wish or what they're gonna wish for. I could speculate and maybe like, I don't know, maybe maybe wishing that his grandpa was back alive. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, Bulma could possibly wish for a boyfriend, but then there's Yamcha. So, I mean, that's being set up. Um, but I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to just like, trying to think what they could possibly be wishing for. So let's see, where'd I go from? Mm -mm -mm. What did? Oh, I said fan is dangerous. So the fan is dangerous, but he said like, um, in order to, like it could do certain things. Like it was like, one, it could blow a huge wind, or like a wind. Second one can make, um, I think he said like a little bit of rain. And then the third one it could rain a ton. Um, so he threw that out, despite the fact that it's a dangerous item. He threw it out because he spilled something on it. Um, but it was great that we were able, that he did throw it out because we were able to see his amazing freaking abilities. Um, so he drank from the Fountain of Youth, which is really intriguing because it looks like somebody did wish for the Fountain of Youth. Um, so as you know, like when it comes to the Dragon Balls, like you guys keep reminding me, in order for this world to be what it is, it's probably because somebody wished for it and also wished for the fact that, hey, it's normal that dinosaurs are walk walking around. It's fine that there's Transformers and dinosaurs in the same timeline. Um, so whatever the, these wishes are, it's really intriguing that they kind of set it up this way. Um, because they we're able to see, like, if I were to wish for dragon, not, not, dragons and dinosaurs to talk, then that would happen. Everyone would think that's normal. Um, but even for the Fountain of Youth, so I don't know how old Master Roshi is. Um, and it says you're not even, you're not even near your death. Um, so that's really intriguing because it kind of shows us that this man could possibly even live forever. I don't know the rules of the Fountain of Youth in this world, but it seems like there might be an expiration date. But it also seems like there is, um... A lot of like a lot of speculation there because he didn't say immortal but at the same time he didn't say that he didn't say when he was gonna die so with Chi Chi we realize that she still cries a lot I think that's a character trait given the fact that in two episodes she has been crying um, and just like her dad because her dad also freaking cries um, it kind of shows us that that's where she kind of got it from um, and I did the Ox King did kind of grow on me as a character because he's just a big guy who's lovable and you can tell he seriously does love love his daughter but you could, like, I just wanted to point that out because we saw him crying and then we see her and that's definitely a character trait now. So I'm calling it that she's a very emotional person. Um, and then she's also somebody who does cry a lot. Not like whining like Bulma does, but more like crying when she can't do something. Um, but hopefully we get to see more Chi Chi, hopefully throughout the whole series because she seems like an awesome character. Plus I ship her and Goku. So there's that. Hopefully that is a thing and possibly in the future we get to see them grow up together. Um, so let's see. Master Roshi can do everything. That's literally what I wrote down here. He can do everything. This man, like, he's like, there's nothing he can't do. Plus, I want to see his eyes. Like, we just see his sunglasses. I don't know if we ever see his eyes or it's going to be like a Kakashi thing, a Naruto, that you don't really see what is underneath that mask. So I don't know if those, the glasses are, like, important for something, but that, that's always intriguing to me because he says he could do everything, but I'm like, what can't he do? That's something, if, if someone says I could do everything, there's always like, what is your weakness then? Um, let's see. So it's coat. I gotta say it wrong. Komeya Meya. 
Oh, wait a minute. I'm probably saying it wrong, but the wave. He even said what was funny when he said it was 50 years, Goku did it right away. And he was like intrigued that he was like Gohan's son. Like not son, his grandson's, but more on that later. Um, what else do we have? Oh, wait, what the hell did I say? Oh, so reunited with the Ox King and um, Roshi. It was great to see that reunition. That reunition. Yeah, that's a word. That reunited uh, moment with them because it shows how much that the Ox King did love him as a master, but also as like a sensei. Um, it kind of shows like they did have a strong bond with each other. And it was funny when he kind of yelled at him. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And he, it was funny because it kind of shows like when like somebody is apologizing to their sensei, that's usually how it would go in anime. So I saw that trope there. Another trope I saw was definitely with the whole, um, the chanting thing when he was doing the co come, I can't say the wave thing. Um, and also doing, um, the nosebleed. That's another trope. So I'm, I'm wondering if this came, like all of that came from Dragon Ball, if Dragon Ball was the first one to do this, um, or that was inspired by another series before Dragon Ball. So let me know on that because I'm intrigued by where that nosebleed even came from. Um, blah, blah, energy. Yeah. So he, basically with the, with the wave, he has to like absorb all the energy around him and that's kind of if you think about it kind of scary because again his age but how is it possible i mean like it's like a complete focus to like grow this ball of energy and like somehow like absorb it in like one section so i want to i definitely am what i'm what i'm excited for is learning more about the moves in dragon ball to see like what they may be inspired by whether that's like martial arts because it was mentioned too when chi chi was like oh if he's a martial artist then this shouldn't hurt him but that's, um, that also shows us that a lot of the moves were definitely inspired by martial arts, which is really an intriguing thing because I know nothing about martial arts. So to be able to know that this was kind of inspired by it, um, I would love to learn more about like martial artists and also like what kind of moves that they do have for this. Um, let's see. Oh, something I also wrote down was funny equals serious. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Yeah, he's a meme. He's like Master Roshi is literally a walking, talking meme, but he he can be serious at times. Like he was the one who saved the day there. Um, but it kind of, it went from like funny to serious to funny, 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 because it, it shows us that even the like kind of like the meme-ish type of characters, the funny old dude can still have an importance here. And I really did love how that was set up. Um, also, it was really great what I said about before with um, him reacting to Gohan and everything and Goku being able to learn about that. He was like, oh, I didn't know that he was Gohan's grandson because Goku freaking learned that, like legitimately learned that in that given moment. And he learned to do that wave thing. So that kind of showed that everyone was like kind of shocked, but it kind of shows that he was like, oh, Gohan must be training him. And he said he spoke, I remember him speaking of a boy with a tail. So I don't think that they're blood related. I, I, I'm trying to think if they're blood related or Goku came from like somewhere else because the way it was addressed to us was saying that Gohan said to Roshi that I remember him saying that there is a boy with a tail. So that kind of shows us that there is more mis like mystery for Goku's character than we thought in the beginning. Um, so then he, what I say? Oh yeah, he was shocked about him. So something else I wrote down that's really important is he will train Goku. He's gonna train him. And he, in that moment, when it came to Gohan in general, like when he mentioned it, you saw the look on his face, you saw his gestures, you saw him like kind of get upset because he trained him, you know? He seriously did train him and it looks like he didn't drink from the Fountain of Youth either. But like, I don't know if the Ox King did, that's like for, up for speculation right now because all, it seems like Master Roshi is the only one that did. But he felt bad in that moment. You saw it, like you usually see him just like, woo, I'm a crazy old man, oh my God, look at me. But like literally he felt bad in that moment. And you could see it from his gestures. Even though he just has sunglasses on, you could feel that gesture. You can sense that, you know? And it was kind of really upsetting to see him like that because it was just a small given moment. Um, and you, like I said, he was upset. And then he saw potential in Goku because even when Yamcha was like, yo, he doesn't offer any to this to anybody, but he's offering it to Monkey Boy. Like, what the hell? Like, he offered it to him because he knows, like, not only does he felt, he felt bad because of Gohan, and also because he realized that Goku is so young, but he also saw potential in him, you know? Like, he saw probably what he saw in Gohan and what he did train him for. So Yamcha in that moment was like, oh, it doesn't matter, then I'll just be able to pull his tail. He's like, Yamcha, just, just stop. But it was funny when Yamcha was like, she's going on a date with him, because it was, he didn't even say that. You just saw him, like, his shocked expression, just like, damn boy, just freaking ask her out. 
But other than that, uh, we saw also a moment of Chi-Chi and Goku. Chi-Chi's amazing. I love her as a character. Um, she is a crybaby character, but you know, those t it tends it tends to like, usually those characters tend to annoy me, but if they do it right, they don't annoy me. So far, she hasn't annoyed me because it looks like she still tries her best to do everything. Plus, we saw that she inherited that definitely from her father. That was a, definitely a character trait that was inherited from her freaking father, father the Ox King. So hopefully we see more of Chi-Chi in the series because, you know, her design intrigues me. I mean, like why they decided to give her that type of design, um, her character overall, and also her voice is adorable. Um, and also like shipping her and Goku, that's that's awesome because we see like they're young and maybe when they get older, possibly they might have maybe a, like a romance with each other. Who knows? Because the Ox King hinted at it in the last episode. But anyway, guys, I would love to know your thoughts on this. Again, make sure to connect your Discord you have a lot of events that go I have to freaking drink because I'm literally talking so much. We have to go we have events that goes on in our Discord server where we watch anime together, like over voice chat. Like we actually talk to each other, um, which I really love talking with you guys because it's so much fun to learn about you. Um, but it's also because we like to we love to play games and the more the merrier. Um, if you have anything that you want us to react to, check out the tiers. Um, you can react to any, like, you can list anything if you want, but when it comes to, like, I think, I believe it's a $30 tier, you can, like, keep requesting as much as you want up to a certain amount. Um, but when it comes to these events, you can keep requesting things. Um, obviously, we have to keep it fair for everybody, but you can request a ton of things, and then we'll get it, like, organized for you guys. And um, we already have a to-do list up on for, like, called the uh, Patreon to-do list, which it basically gives... I just threw that at me, which basically gives us um, like to do's for you guys during these events. Um, other than that, if you have any feedback, request anything that you want to let us know about, just let us know. Um, and yeah, we'd love to learn more about you guys and hope that you do come to these events. Discord is a chat room. If you don't know, just download it or you can even use it on your PC. I don't know if it works if you don't have the app. Um, it's for mobile and it's also for um, directly on your PC as well. So, or your Mac, whatever you guys prefer. Um, but yeah, you can access it and you can to like totally talk to us. We have a lot of people from the UK. We have people um, all over, basically in the, in the United States. We have people all over the world that do come and like hang out with us during these events. And it's a lot of fun. So never feel shy because we're all geeky, crazy people here and crazy in a good way. But anyway, friends, I hope you have an amazing day. You stay weird, you stay wonderful, you stay awesome. And until the next video, embrace your fangirl and your fanboy and your fan person every single day. Bye guys. Hey classmates, before we actually do dismiss class, I have some things I want to say as the credits play down below. Um, so just to let you guys know, yeah, um, this is the outro. Fantastic! So thank you so much for watching this episode here at All Ages Geek Academy. We really truly do appreciate it. Uh, we love uh, like analyzing series, reacting to series, and really adding more to the reactions. As you guys know, I love to fucking talk a lot. But also, as you see, my book of wonders here. We have a lot to discuss and a lot to review together. So if you really love what we're doing, you want more like analytical type of content to analyze every single anime known to man, is that gonna happen? Possibly every episode, oh my God. Be sure to check out our Patreon page where you guys can get access to our Discord server, hang out with us. And we have a lot of events that go on there too. Like usually we have community days on Wednesdays, which is like an hour, two hours usually. We play games together. And then we also on Thursdays, we have a five hour event every single Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern time to 10 p.m. at night where we all talk we all hang out we geek out together we play all these great games um, and it's a lot of fun we also watch anime and shows together a lot of anime that doesn't necessarily have to actually be um, immersed within so if you want to take part in that and hang out with an amazing crazy squad um, be sure to here's a few clips from some of our previous patron days if you guys want to see the craziness I'm innocent! Yeah, I'm Cat! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stick a good text if you tell me what I can Okay, everybody, <laughs> stay away from Cat. She will open fire. I just saw that massacre! I'm not even sure if Cat's innocent or not. I don't know why, but it was just so, like, abrupt. I'm like. I'm innocent. I am thou, and thou art I. <laughs> My leg! That was a real death. Hey, what's up? That was a real death.
Jeff. Ding, bro, that was crazy. I thought, I, thought, I, thought it, I thought that was pretty slick. Trump jumping down there, tossing Yay, I did it. Oh, the terrorists. <laughs> terrorists win. I did a thing. I'm the mustard. Evan, Wait. I'm the mustard. Oh, you are the mustard. How, are we playing prop right now? Is that a thing? But yeah, there's a lot of events that go on, and also if you want to check out more episodes, I don't know where I'm pointing, but should be on one of these sides. Um, be sure to click one of those and check out another playlist where you guys can, you know, if you love this type of series, you can find another series that you know and love. But yeah, just to let you guys know, we love you, we appreciate you, we're happy you're here, and we're happy you're part of the freaking All Ages of Geek Academy. So I hope you can see you guys in the next video. You have an amazing day, and as always, my friends, embrace your inner fangirl. And you're the fanboy. And you're a fan person. Oh, every single day. Bye, guys.